case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1978 Supreme Court case, Carrie v. Pyfus, two students in Chicago, Pyfus and Briscoe, were suspended from their high school for 20 days without the proper procedures being followed. The principal believed they had been smoking marijuana during school hours and imposed the 20-day suspension for drug use. Pyphus and his mother filed a lawsuit seeking declaratory and injunctive relief, as well as actual and punitive damages in the amount of $3,000. The Court of Appeals ruled that the students were entitled to substantial non-punitive damages even if the suspensions were justified. However, the Supreme Court disagreed, stating that in the absence of proof of actual injury, the students were only entitled to recover nominal damages, or a very small amount of money. Ultimately, the court decided that the respondents could only receive nominal damages, not exceeding $1, from the petitioners due to their failure to prove actual injury. The case was then sent back for further proceedings in accordance with this ruling. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.